Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. I believe this is a solitaire game. This is Invasion Cuba from 1961 to 1962, and it's from Modern War Magazine, issue 28, which was March through April 2017. Let's take a look inside and see what this includes. It's got a map here. We'll go over that in a minute, and some counters. We'll go over those, too. Let's look through the rule book first. All right, it starts with an intro, and then it's going over the solitaire game structure. And here it's going over the counters. Looks like they have a combat rating and a unit ID and unit symbol. All right, here it's got the how to win. Looks like you can win with uh, victory points. Is there a sudden death thing, or excuse me, a, a instantaneous victory in this? I don't think so. And here's how to set up the game, and here's the sequence of play that's what we're interested in. Pentagon staff points phase, U.S. mobilization phase, which has reinforcements and refit, U.S. unconventional warfare phase, U.S. staging phase, U.S. ground movement phase, U.S. strategic air attack phase. And here is the U.S. tactical air movement phase, U.S. amphibious movement phase, communist reveal phase, air defense and air superiority phase, tactical air attack phase, U.S. airdrop and landing, U.S. ground combat phase, combat reaction phase, communist counterattack phase, communist reaction adjustment phase, World War III phase, and then the, and the turn phase. All right, so here's going over stacking limits here. Now it's going over to Pentagon staff points. Here's going over fog of war. Air defense and air superiority. Tactical air attacks. Here's ground combat. Looks like combat is mandatory in this. And there's Pursuit, uh, Reaction Events. And here's the list of Reaction Events, depending on what you rolled. Looks like you'd roll 2d6 because it goes from 2 to 12. Alright, let's take a look at the map now. Alright, the map here, it has a Pentagon Staff Points Available section. Turn record track, escalation level, communist reaction level, and here's U.S. air unit missions, U.S. staging areas. And over here it's got a terrain key, terrain effects chart. Looks like there's tactical edge in this game. That, that's a Joseph Miranda's version of initiative. Communist random placement, escalation table. Tactical edge, die roll modifiers, combat results table. Pentagon staff points. Here's your sequence of play written on the map. That's good. Uh, airborne unit drop table and unconventional warfare table. And as you can see, it's a point to point map. It's got some airfields on here and other stuff. Oh, and here's your communist reserve box. Let's take a look at the counters now. Counters look like they have standard NATO military symbols. Aircraft have pictures of aircraft on them. Uh, they're probably 5 8 inch. They're definitely not half inch. They're bigger than that, so that's good. And some of them have a second side to them. They're not bad counters for a magazine game. Obviously, they're not as good as what you'd get in a box game, but for a magazine, they're all right. If you guys have tried this game, chime in and let us know how it is. It looks interesting. It's solitaire, so I really don't have an excuse for not trying it since I can uh, try it any time I have some spare time. Have a good evening.